Hello, hello everyone. This is Jay and welcome to the Jay Alvis Podcast. Ito ang pinakaunang episode natin. So I'm very excited to uh, speak in front of you guys. Although I know I don't have the equipment yet. Wala pa akong lights, wala akong um, mic but uh, and all those stuff. But that didn't stop me from getting started because I just, you know, wanted to start, learn on the fly, make mistakes so I can be better on our next episode. All right? Um, a couple of days ago, I created a YouTube channel and a Facebook page and uh, some of my friends um, asked me what's the reason why I created this uh, podcast, what's my, what are my goals and uh, what are the topics that I'm going to discuss on this uh, channel. Well, to be honest with you guys, I created this uh, podcast out of boredom. Uh, I just wanted to do something productive while, uh, you know, may lockdown pa. And uh, as for my goal, um, I just wanted to have an informative podcast that will tackle important matters in life to be able to share information and experiences that I've um, had in my life that might help, might help other people. And uh, I'll be discussing a lot of things, um, life in general, like marriage, relationship, parenthood, money issues, career, and basically everything under the sun. But uh, for the first few episodes, I'll be uh, focusing primarily on the topics surrounding family. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, get straight to the topic. Let's get straight to business. Our first topic is uh, how to be a good father. Paano nga ba maging mabuting isang ama? Now, I, I'm a father. I have a five-year-old son, but I'm not an expert yet. Um, but uh, but my goal, my life goal is to be the best dad for my kids. But I know there's a lot, still a lot of things that I should learn. Um, and before we go any further, the reason why I choose this topic is because um, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to uh, mga kumpare ko, mga friends ko uh, sa Philippines. The reason why I choose this topic is because um, you guys are my inspiration, yung mga tatay dyan. You guys are my inspiration. Nakita ko first hand kung gaano kayo kagaling at kabubuting ama sa inyong mga anak. Despite of the circumstances um, na gawa ninyong um, palakihin ng tama ang inyong mga anak. So I'm proud of you guys. Uh, keep doing what you do best. Keep you know being a great dad for your kids. Alright? So um, I summarize uh, 10 tips on how you can be a good father. Okay, number one sa listahan ko, um, protect your children. Ano nga ba ito? Maraming uh, ways on how you can protect your children. Unang-una na dito, bigyan natin sila ng maayos na tahanan. Hindi, uh, hindi na kailangang malaki o maganda. Ang pinaka-importante, yung malinis, safe, para hindi sila magkasakit. Turuan din natin sila ng safety habits. Um, kagaya ng simpleng paghuhugas ng kamay bago at matapos kumain. It's a good start already. Um, turuan din natin silang kabisaduin yung full name ng parents, mobile numbers, and address kung kaya for safety reason. Um, pwede rin natin silang sabihan na wag, basta-basta kumausap ng hindi nila kilala. Alright, financial protection. Isa rin to sa pinaka-importante. Kung kaya ng budget, uh, get a life insurance. Or mag-ipon ng kaunting halaga kada sahod para kapag may emergency, meron ka rin makukuha. Alright, that's number one. So for my number two, spend your spare time with them. Now I understand all those uh, working uh, mommy and daddy out there na kapag umuwi tayo galing work, ay uh, pagod na tayo and we just wanted to rest for a bit and relax. I understand that. And um, although, you know, there's still ways on how you can bond with your kid. You know, what? Uh, while sitting on a couch or uh, having your dinner, kausapin mo sila, kamustahin mo yung school nila. Ask them if they made someone smile today. You know, those, those uh, conversation make a difference. At kapag weekends naman, kapag wala tayong pasok, and so, um, please don't waste it. Spend it uh, uh, with your kid. You know, uh, play with them, sing and dance with them. 
um, do a pillow fight. Makipaghabulan, makipagharutan, makipagtaya-tayaan. Papi, hindi sila palaging bata. Gamitin natin yung panahong ito. I-cherish natin ang panahong ito para sa kanila. Alam nyo ba kung ano ang pinaka mahalagang regalo na may bibigay natin sa ating mga anak? Hindi ito material na bagay. Isa lang ang kanila pinaka inihiling. Ito ang oras natin. Oras na kayang-kaya natin ibigay. So ibigay natin sa kanila. Alright, number three. Give them hugs. Uh, may mga kilala ako at maraming mga papi ang papi dyan na uh, um, may tough attitude sila. They're a tough dad. And I understand that they are tough for a reason. But please, don't be afraid or don't be shy to uh, show affection to your kids. Hindi lang yakap at lambing ng kanilang ina ang kanilang kailangan. Kailangan din nilang yakap at lambing ng kanilang mga ama. Alright? So, number uh, four, teach them self-esteem. I think ito ang pinaka-importante para sa akin. You know, but how do we do this? Well, there's a lot of ways on how we can do this, but mainly is by showing how you love them. Hindi sapat na sabihin natin mahal natin sila. Ipakita natin kung, kung paano natin sila binavalue. Let's continuously praise and encourage them. Purihin natin sila kahit may mga maliliit lang na bagay na ginawa sila or accomplishment. For any accomplishment, tell them how proud of you, how proud you are. Okay? Purihin natin sila. Number five, um, stand by mom. I think mommy, mga mommies out there ay mag-agali dito. So what do I mean by uh, stand by mom? It only means never contradict their mother in front of them. Huwag kayo may kapagtalo sa harapan ng uh, mga anak natin. Kung maaari, kung may mga bagay kayo dapat i-discuss, yung wala sila yung hindi nila nakikita or nasa loob kayo ng kwarto. Please, um, you know, wag, wag, wag na wag yung pagbubuhatan ng kamay si mommy. Because the way you treat their mother affects their self-esteem and the way they treat women kapag lumaki na sila. Be kind and be respectful sa kanilang mga nanay. Work as a team. You know, my my uh, my wife and I works as a team and uh, it really works. Para sa akin, it's, 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 it's a good thing. And... Um, and if it works for me, you know, it, it can also work for you guys. So try it. Alright. Um, number six, stick to a routine. You know, my son and I have this small routine every day. Uh, Nakapag-uwi ako ng bahay. We have a handshake. Both of us look forward for this very moment every day. At kapag minsan nakakalimutan kong mag-handshake, um, minsan naiinis siya sa akin at pinapaalala niya. Sabay din kami mag-toothbrush every night. And as a family, sabay-sabay kaming mag-dasal bago matulog. You know, it doesn't have to be anything special, but the time and regularity of this shared ritual is very important. And uh, number seven is uh, teach them good manners. You know, I still believe that uh, we should always teach our kids the, the importance of good manners. Uh, there's a lot of good manners that we can ituro, but let me give you an exam example. Um, I call this uh, the golden words or magic words. Uh, teach your kids how to say please kapag may kailangan sila. And then uh, teach them how to say thank you kapag may binigay sa kanila. Kahit sino, just you know, say thank you. Um, also teach them how to say sorry kapag may mga bagay silang uh, nagawa. Those three golden words, you know, are really great na matutunan ng ating mga anak. Turuan din natin sila maging mapagbigay sa kapwa. Teach them and uh, have them learn that sharing is caring. Okay? Turuan din natin sila magpasalamat sa Diyos sa araw-araw bago, bago matulog. Okay? Uh, number eight, show up. Ano nga ba to? Uh, well, it only means na kapag may uh, family activity at home or at school, please be there. Kapag may dance recital sila, please be there. Kapag may science fair, 
please be there. You know, let, uh, let me share it with you guys. Nung yung anak ko, nung nagkaroon ng dance recital at school, and when he's on stage, um, he always looks at his mommy and daddy. Kawai siya ng kawai, and sh he has all these smiles. So, nakaka-proud talaga. Okay? Um, so, please be always there. Okay, number nine. I think uh, ito yung pinaka-paborito ko sa lahat. And alam ko yung mga papi dyan, mag favorite nyo rin to. Number nine is be good to yourself. You don't need to give up your entire life um, when you become a dad. Pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng alone time and uh, time with your friends. It's good for yourself. Uh, mag, uh, eat healthy also. Uh, do exercise. Kasi if you're sick, you can't take care of your kids. And if you're having a healthy lifestyle, you're also teaching your kids to have a healthy lifestyle, lifestyle too. May imitate niya to. Alright. Number 10, the uh, last but not the least on my list is uh, be good to mommy. Um, this is not the same uh, as number 5. It only means na maging uh, mabuti tayo. Treat natin si mommy kahit hindi sila nakatingin. O minsan-minsan, i-date naman natin si Marcy. Right? O kaya, paminsan-minsan, ikaw naman ang gumawa ng gawaing bahay. Pagluto, paglaba, pagtupi. Uh, pagpahingin natin sila. Um, you know, ipamassage natin sila. Or surpresahin natin, si, paminsan-minsan, si Marcy, si Mami. You know, kasi kapag masaya si Mami, your kids will be happy and your life as a daddy will be happy too. All right, and those are the 10 tips that I have for you guys. But uh, before we wrap it up, <clears throat> I just wanted to acknowledge all those daddies na OFW. I know, um, um, di nyo magagawa ito mga great tips na naibigay ko. But hey, okay malungkot. Just your sacrifice to provide the needs of your daughter, son, family is already enough. Uh, we are proud of you guys. Uh, I've been there and I understand uh, what you're feeling right now. So please hang in tight. Darating din yung chance na makakasama mo yung mga anak mo and your family. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Um, kung umabot man kayo sa dulo ng video net na to, I really appreciate it guys. If you like and enjoy this video, please share it with your family and friends. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the, the like button. You can also uh, view this uh, content on my uh, YouTube channel. Yung link ay mapapost natin sa Facebook page. And um, again, thank you, thank you so much for um, for uh, watching the Jay Alvis podcast. Again, this is Jay, and uh, see you on the next episode. Bye bye.